So here's what this looks like, right? Here's the data. I loaded up just a chunk of this data here, and you can see the lighter colors are basically where they are closer to a river. So you can kind of get a sense of where there are rivers flowing through here and here. And the darker areas mean they're further from a river. So this is just an, a small area in France. You can kind of see where the, you, there's likely a river going through here. There's likely a river going through here. And then we can actually see what those rivers look like. So if we zoom in here, you kind of have to guess where the, the actual river might be, but we'll try to find one of these areas here. I think there's a river somewhere in here. So we can just try and guess. So bear with me as I go through the map here. And you can see here, so here is the, the land. This is you know fallow cropland, it looks like. This is winter wheat. And then it says, here's the nearest river. Uh, and I'm, I'm not even gonna attempt to, to say that, even though I took French in high school. Le Fouzon, maybe, I'll try. If anyone's from France, you can correct me. And you can see here, it's, it's 153 meters from that or in distance here. You can see here, here's the distance to the river, and then here's the the river itself, or here's where that, that river is. You can see here it gets the, the sense of how close it is to that river. And that's basically it. You know, you get this this kind of cool visualization, but there's obviously some, some practical of implications to this as well. You know, you want to be able to understand how, from a perspective how close you are to you know, a river or an area or water body and do that at scale, these sort of large scale, you know, spatial joins, that's something you could do as well. But, you know, it, of course, as you start to scale up these operations, you need to be cons considering, okay, what type of operation am I doing? What type of compute infrastructure might I need to do that? But like I said, that's kind of the the next scale here so it gives you a sense of like how you can start on the small scale and go all the way up to these very massive spatial operations which is what i wanted to do all through the scope of source cooperative 